great, great. Uh, how are you guys? Um, I once I come here, I feel the incredible vibe, and uh, thanks a lot for the organizers to organize such a great event. So today I'm going to talk about Libra. We think we're actually building the shared settlement layer for the future internet. Um, first is that, and uh, I think um, most people here should be convinced right now, I think Ethereum is becoming our civilization settlement layer. Um, so after 10 years, we have finally built a decentralized censorship resistant ledger. And it's truly amazing, not just like working 10 years flawlessly, I guess except DAO hack. Um, and also it support like coding Turing complete settlement, right? And uh, the question we ask as an infrastructure builder is what's going next? Are we going to build like L2, L3, L4 to L infinity? That's a good question. But you can see, and delightfully, I do think the proofs in various form will power the next 10 years uh, of this like Ethereum centric blockchain space. And we have various kinds of proofs. We have proofs that scale Ethereum itself, for example, like a score, ZK Sync, Polygon, and uh, uh, Linea, like privacy preserving proofs. For example, um, Sophomore, Macy, we have Aztec, we also have WordCoin. So we recently just received a grant from the WordCoin Foundation to help them aggregate proofs. Few people actually know they're actually settling like one million proofs per month on Ethereum. They're actually one of the biggest um, proof settlement uh, applications today. And we have various kinds of oracles, for example, like ZKP2P, Brevis, and Lagrange. Um, so there is a big problem today. And I've talked about proof singularity before I had to actually uh, assemble. And I have to uh, update these slides. The reason is that it's actually the cost even go like bigger for two reasons. Uh, first reason is that Ethereum price goes up, and obviously. And second reason is the network is actually getting more and more congested. So the gas fees is even higher. So this is some very simple back in the envelope calculations about how much gas fees you need to pay if you want to set a single zero to proof on chain on Ethereum specifically, right? Depending on the uh, proof system schemes you are using right now, if you are using uh, Growth 16, so we actually did a very mod modest uh, cost of the gas, like 250k. Uh, if you have more like public inputs, the cost will be higher. So you roughly take like a 20. Twenty-two dollars um, to set a single proof, and if your set of Halo Two KZG, that's like thirty-six dollars. And if you want to set a star proof today, it costs more than one hundred dollars, right? And I just steal the quote from Vitalik: like, do I want to pay twenty dollars to add a privacy for my transactions for buying coffee? I'm probably just use it as a gimmick but not regularly, right? I mean, the most expensive coffee I've ever bought is in Colorado, or in Aspen. I probably pay like $25 for a very, very like, mediocre espresso, right? But that's not normal, and we cannot let this happen. And uh, the biggest question we want to solve here today is that how can we make ZK proof cheaper on chain? Our answer is we're actually using ZK itself. So, this, the first part of the talk, I will introduce you a Nibra um, primitive called Nibra UPA, which is the universal proof aggregator. Um, what is it? Right. So, Nibra UPA, basically, we write this protocol, and the functionality is we can uh, aggregate proofs. Uh, we call it universal because this can be proof from different circuits. For example, can, one proof can be like ZK ML proof, one proof can be like ZK event proof, another proof could be like ZK coprocessor proofs. We aggregated multiple proofs into a single proof here. We call it Pi AG, AGG. And now, instead of settling many, many proofs on chain, we settle the single aggregated proof. The benefit of that is that the verification costs get amortized. 
And more specifically, the single aggregated proof only costs like 400K, and our current batch size is 40, right? There are a bunch of like a bad whistle with some other opcode costs, right? But roughly you can get more than 10x reduction. And as our proof aggregation technology getting better, and we're using better hardware, um, this uh, cost reduction can be even higher. And there's the only uh, limitation today we have basically we need to make the best size and latency trade off here. And uh, this is how the protocol looks like in very, very high point of view, right? So we have a Nibra UPA contract, right? And this contract is going to deploy on all the major L1 and L2, mostly EVM chains, right? And people just send proof to us. And we have a distributed proving network um, with a coordinator and the distributed provers. And these provers are powered by GPUs, of course. So the end goal of this protocol is, has the following properties. First is permissionless, right? Like we're not a SaaS business. You just submit your proof to our smart contract, and we aggregate it to post on chain, you get a notification, that's it. And secondly is censorship resilience. We have a very similar design to the L2s, right? We have a force inclusion mechanism so that even ourselves cannot censor the proof. Third is progressively decentralizable, right? It's also very similar to save our L2s. We're going to have all like a centralized or distributed prover first, and then we're going to move into decentralized prover designs. So that's a very, very high level idea of the protocol. And uh, the next is that Today, using Nibra UPA is very, very simple, right? So this is how you are verifying the proof on the left-hand side today on Ethereum. You basically deploy your verifier contract, maybe in your link the verifier.so on chain, and by using Nibra, the process is exactly the same. Basically, Nibra is kind of a middle, middleware here. Instead of calling your own like a verifier contract, you first register your verification key with us, and then you just submit your proof to our contract, and that's it, right? Nothing else. So I will have a pointer in the later stage to our workshop. Right? Welcome to come our workshop to test the testnet on your own laptop. And we have will bring some like a little prizes to someone who has successfully sent a test transaction on our testnet. All right. So the one we're going to launch testnet um, March first here is Nibra UPA 1.0, right? So currently we're actually using a two-layer recursion in Halo 2 KZG, and uh, all this magic is powered by um, some very advanced mathematical constructions based on the Chinese remainder theorem, field simulation with Luca, right? We believe we are the safe part. Well, actually, um, the uh, non-native resume performance is actually better than the PSU ones and XU ones. And also, we have a pipeline and distributed proving architecture so that uh, you get, you get like parallelization, you get latency reduction, and also you get GPU accelerations. Um, yeah, and also a little bit sneak peek of Nibra UPA 2.0, right? So we're actually in the process of building a proof aggregation VM. The point here is to support multiple proof systems. So we will support all the major proof systems, including Gore-16, Plum, Ken Spark, and uh, we're using more advanced cryptographic techniques, such as like uh, cycling curves, and more efficient like polynomial commitment scheme, and folding to uh, make it even faster, right? Um, so, so the knowledge here is that the Nibra UPA, if you a space fan like me, right? Nibra UPA is really kind of like a proof aggregation engine, right? Kind of like a Raptor engine from from like SpaceX, right? But we are actually going to build Starship as well, right? So basically, the manager here is that well, using Nibra UPA to build the Nibra SSL. That's what we're going to talk next. Is that the shared settlement layer, right? So first, again, right? So I think um, today we we are facing a very extreme silo problems of blockchains, right? So I think. After like some really smart guys coming with a uh, uh, like notion of L2s, L2s is great, right? L2s can leverage can, can let the blockchains leverage in the L1 security um, to having a lot of like a better designs than the sort of like a monolithic blockchains. However, there's a huge problem with L2s. 
today because all these L2s are still ciders. To make a comparison here, right, you can see, at least today, there is a big security problem of L2s. Basically, I made this like chart here, right? If the asset itself is L1 native, you using the native bridges from L1 to L2, right? You get native L1 security. But there are other five different cases. For example, you are L1 native asset, you move in L1, moving from L, L2 back to L1, and you are L1 native moving between L2 and L2, and vice versa, right? These are not secure today, right? So we believe um, the problem, how we solve that is we can solve that using the technology we are building, basically like using Libra UPA. Um, so we're actually not coming the idea from ourselves, right? So actually Vitaly has been saying that for the past two years, and uh, I think we finally realize, can realize this like a sort of Vitaly design actually into a concrete protocol here. Uh, to give you a very, very high level idea here is um, how, how we're going to work, right? So for example, um, we, the, the design we're coming up here is like a co-settlement. Basically, what does co-settlement mean? Basically, co-settlement means one proof multiple settlements. For example, um, for all those L2 like ZK proofs, right? For example, we could have like a polygon ZK event proof, we can have score ZK event proof, we can have snark name proof, which is not a ZK event, and we can have like an OP, like snark snarkified for proof. We can all aggregate that proof to a single proof. Because there's no like theoretical limitations for how many proofs you can aggregate in a single proof. And we can settle and settle this aggregated proof on all the chains where it's related. And once it's settled, right, on every single chance, it's going to just open it where you need it. For example, right, on the polygon part, right, if you only care about the bridge from the uh, ZK ZK name to polygon, right, you, you're only going to open the part of proof that related to you, right. So then, um, what we're really bringing here is like a cross ecosystem asynchronous compos com com compos composabilities and carry by proof, right. So there's zero, you don't have to trust us, and everything is guaranteed by mathematics, right. So we will have more blog posts, detailed designs, and white papers to rethink this like a, a shared settlement design in the future, right? Um, I think that's uh, that's the talk today, and uh, these are the two following events we're, we're building. Uh, so first one is like a February twenty seventh, this is co-located with the Infra, and the next one is March March first. Uh, we're building the proof singularity Denver. Uh, please join us and. Uh, We'll have um, various talks and also demo the test net. And uh, you can see, um, I think we'll actually give a vision, Apple Vision Pro to people who spend the first uh, ZK transactions on our test net. And, uh, um, and last but not least, right, so this is uh, built with these amazing teams, right? These are their like, uh, Twitter handles. So if you want to follow like high quality cryptographic content, follow our team members. If you are want to follow some like shit posting, like follow me, please. Um, okay, and uh, I think that's it.